This is a video on vortex dousing and um, the pendulum still. And I made a feng shui wealth base. So basically in these wealth bases, what you put what's important to you to send signals that you need clearing about. And I have an issue with um, radiation sensitivity, specifically in the pulsed range of EMF. So I'll ask the pendulum for a yes response. That's yes. Let's get to stop. Give me a no response now. Please stop. Do you have over 100 million um, energetic sources here for pulse EMF? Please display this in some capacity. Pendulum's done. I'll just give you a tour of what's inside. This is a sterling silver pendulum. And um, next to this feng shui well face, it's just a regular salt lamp. It's supposed to be more spiritual, have a spiritual and physical effect than just um, a natural way, <clears throat> more of a divine way than the contrast of what's in the vase. So, but on the top of the vase, I have my cat's favorite chew toy because I love him, and um, this wealth coin, this chi, um, feng shui, good luck wealth coin, so there's yin and yang on there as well. And it's supposed to be your life source energy, so anyway, here's a grand tour. Um, I have things such as um, communications cables in the Cat 6 range. I have like remote controllers for a fan system. Um, variable motor controls, and then here's the real thing that drives it. It's all the lighting system types that I have in here that specifically do cause seizures and other biological responses that can be found in many um, defense and health community libraries. So, and I also have socket types for these lights for adapters to different fixtures, but um, just all the way down to light to. Um, diodes and ballast and <clears throat> I guess items that have atomic components in them fluoresce. So it's quite a composition in there that I've been building for days and it's been a meditative process for weeks. I've been um, <clears throat> looking for sources to, to tie into the human reson resonance of the earth, not only to take from the earth but feed back into it. And this is how I feed back into it for psychoenergetic freedom from the uh, items that are in there, such as, you know, there's antennas, like I said, light bulbs, that kind of thing. So if you're interested, I really got some of these tips from Wind and Water Feng Shui about where to locate this in my house to be best for me. I was born in January of 82, and I was supposed to have this on the west side of my house. So thank you.